I brought it up here because I had a little part of it cut off. Uh, some, some part of my information back here under the procedures and directions for lessons didn't, didn't come up on what I printed off for you. But uh, what I do is we do the usual background uh, information on the Supreme Court, who the Supreme Court is, what they do, jurisdiction stuff, how the Supreme Court works. Um, we look at our current Supreme Court, kind of the makeup of our current Supreme Court. And of course, we have to do a lot of study on the Constitution and on the Bill of Rights. So all of that stuff is done before I show any of these videos. I don't show all these videos. Uh, notice it says the lesson plan could range from one day to like five days. Because I've got, each, with each piece lasting about 30 minutes, you, know, you could show one or two a day and then do your lesson. <laughs> but the main thing I've had to do is uh, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, okay, and then they put on one side, uh, let's say like a case like uh, uh, Chemo versus the City of New London. This was a 2005 Supreme Court case. Well known Supreme Court case. Anybody know what it deals with? Eminent domain. Right, eminent domain. So, I mean, it's interviewing Miss Kilo and, and everybody else in it. But uh, they put Kilo on, on one side, New London on the other side, and then we watch the video. And they have to list uh, three or four arguments for each side, because it covers both sides. Three or four arguments for both sides. Instead of watching the video, they, they do that. Uh, when the video is over, we don't discuss anything yet. But then, this is the point that got cut off. Uh, each student has to kind of make a prediction of how they thought the Supreme Court at that time, which might, of course might not be the Supreme Court of today, uh, make a prediction of what that Supreme Court's decision was. Then they have to write their own opinion, uh, their own personal interpretive opinion of how, if they were a Supreme Court judge, how they would uh, vote, uh, what their outcome would be. And they'd have to write it in a paragraph form in, in an opinion Form, not just say, well, I think Kilo should win, but uh, explaining what which arguments they felt was more, more to what they thought the Constitution would be interpreted. Then they turn that in and I grade it. Uh, but then we discuss it. It leads into a lot of good discussion, uh, and that's what I like, especially when it comes to constitutional law, discussion as to what, uh, you know, why one side is, is more than another. So um, it's, it's kind of a quick, Quick lesson, if you're using um, newer Supreme Court cases, a lot of these, and, and you cannot, you know, if you don't have a set of these, which probably most of you wouldn't, uh, there is information on the internet. It might not show you, there's videos on the internet, internet but not these videos. But, um, you know, you can do it by just researching the basic information from the case. Uh, but the videos are, are helpful because you see the actual people that were in the case. Um, but, I mean, these are these cases uh, right here deal more so with uh, things that teenagers might get into because a number of them deal with young people. Uh, Board of Education versus Earls uh, was a case that dealt with um, drug testing, random drug testing of high school students. Um, and they were drug testing uh, chorus members. <coughs> Not just chorus members, but Lindsay Earls was a chorus, she was in the chorus class, and they um, were testing them as, along with athletes, and there was a question of whether that was constitutional or not. So uh, the young lady right here is in the video, Lee versus Wiseman, freedom of religion uh, issues. So more recent uh, types of cases that kids kind of get into instead of the usual uh, cases. Quick and easy, uh, and kids like that type of discussion. Um, also, if any of you ever, <coughs> these little pocket constitutions, I know John, John Spicer and I uh, have access to these, but you know, if we give each of our students one of these little pocket constitution things, and, uh, we, that's kind of part of their textbook, is to look up anything according to the Constitution Bill of Rights. Any questions? Yeah.